The New York Rangers currently hold the 23rd overall pick in this year's NHL draft, and they definitely could look to add a right winger at that spot. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at three different right wing options the Rangers could look to add at that spot, as well as I've had yesterday the center video up, the day before that the left wing video up, and then tomorrow I'll have the defenseman video up as well. So a ton of draft content leading up until the Wednesday uh, you know, draft when it starts Wednesday night, so it'll be a ton of fun. But uh, yeah, let's get right into here. So the first guy here we have is right winger Gavin Brindley. He played for Michigan um, this year in the NCAA. He's 18, 5'9", 157 pounds, so quite small. Um, you know, right-handed shot, obviously, but he's a really solid prospect. He's kind of ranked somewhere in the in the 20s, kind of the 20s kind of range is probably where he's going to go. Um, you know, Elite Prospects has him number 21, FC Hockey number 15, Dober Prospects number 13, Smot Hockey number 9, that's as high as he's been, but, you know, Bob McKenzie number 30, McKean's 26, Craig Button number 40, um, Shane Malloy number 24, Sports at number 30, so he's kind of, you know, in that 20 to 30 kind of range is kind of where he'll most likely end up, and it's definitely Paul's because this is a guy who had a, had a great year with Michigan last year, um, obviously playing with a guy like Adam Fantilli, who was going to go more than likely second overall in this year's draft. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Gavin Brindley had 41 games played this year, 12 goals, 26 assists for 38 points in 41 games played. That's quite fantastic. Was a plus 21 in the plus minus. Had four points, seven games to the World Juniors this year for Team USA. So, had a really good, really good outing there. Obviously, had a really good season, and uh, definitely a guy who the Rangers could attack and could pick at number 23. He's got great high end speed, agility is fantastic. His compete level is extremely good, especially for a guy at 5'9. He, he is a, has a huge motor. He's always flying around, super high energy. And for his size, he is a pretty physical guy. Um, you know, when we love puck battles, he can win those puck battles. He's pretty strong on the puck for his size, especially. But overall, though. Needs to work on his defensive game a bit more, but for his size, is definitely not completely terrible. Needs to you know work on his shot a bit, but overall, he's a really solid prospect. Good passer, good playmaker, but needs to work on the shot. Needs to work on the defensive game, but overall, he projects a potential guy who could be you know a penalty killer, power play kind of guy at the next level, being that he has such a high motor as well as you know a really dynamic offensive player as well. So definitely could be a great add for the Rangers at pick number twenty three. Next up here we have is Casper Haltonen. That's the Finnish born guy, you know, right winger, 6'3, 207 pounds, right handed shot, a fairly young prospect, not not too old at all. Um, turned 19 back until June as well, so really young. Um, born in Helsinki, played in the top uh, Finnish league last year for uh, HIFK. Didn't do great, had 27 games played there, one goal or one assist in the top finish league, no goals at one point. Um, didn't look great there, but you know, that's against some men. So he then went down to the uh the, the you know the, the tier below the Mestis League, the second tier of Pro Hockey in Finland, had three points in three games, one goal, two assists, and also played for the U20 team of HIFK. Um, and it did good there for the junior league there. Had 18 games played, 18 goals, six assists, 24 points, plus 15. Had a really good showing there. And, uh, you know, also had a really good showing at the U18s for Finland, where he was the captain, had five games played, six goals, four assists, 10 points, was a plus five. So he plays for, uh, you know, for Team Finland, obviously, at the, he's played for U20 as well, had three games played, three points there. So he, he's a good player for Finland, good player in the in the Finnish leagues. And uh, he kind of ranked in the early second round, um, you know, Elite Pros, because has him number 62, FC Hockey number 23. The Hockey News 52, Daily Faceoff 37, Bob McKenzie 38, McKean's 33, Craig Button 25, uh, Shane Malloy 25. So kind of around that kind of potentially late to early first round is probably where he's going to go. But he could definitely go in the 20s. I can definitely see that. And if he goes to the Rangers, I will not be upset in any way possible. I mean, this is a guy with a ton of upside. And I think, you know, play, he played against men last year, which is obviously great to see in the top finish league. He had the size, skill, all that kind of stuff to be a good top six uh, power forward at the NHL level. He's a good skater, especially for his size. He's a really good skater, a really good shot as well, a really booming hard shot, which is great to see. Um, you know, he uh, he does have some in, uh, concussion issues in his younger career. Like a few years ago, he did uh, suffer a few concussions, so a few serious ones as well. So that is kind of an issue, obviously, but um, hopefully he can work through that. I mean, it hasn't been a problem as of late, it seems like, but hopefully that's fine. Uh, his hockey IQ could be a bit better, but other than that, though, he's a really solid player and potentially could be a power play slash PK guy at the NHL level one day. It is definitely possible. His two-way game is not bad. The last guy we have here is Ethan Gauthier. Now, this guy, his father was born in Quebec, played in the NHL, so had his kid in Arizona, uh, Phoenix. Um, but then, obviously, his kid ended up playing for Team Canada, Ethan Gauthier, who I'm talking about. 
he ended up playing for Team Canada at the U18 and stuff. So he's Canadian, French Canadian guy, played in the QMJHL. So he's Canadian, just born in the, in the U.S. because of his dad playing, obviously, pro hockey down there. But, you know, 5'11", 183 pounds, right winger, right-handed shot. He's projected to go in that 20 to 30 kind of range. Uh, Bob McKenzie, number 29. The Hockey News, number 38. McKean's 40. Craig Button, 17. Recruits getting 23. Draft prospects, hockey number twenty four, so right around that range, so a very good, uh, good, good spot there for the Rangers to pick at. But um, you know, this year for the Sherbrooke Phoenix had uh, sixty six games played, thirty goals, thirty nine assists, sixty nine points, was a plus twenty nine in the playoffs. Had eleven games played, four goals, seven assists, eleven points. Um, very, very solid season. I mean, had a really good season. Produced in the playoffs, produced in the regular season, as well as doing really good for Team Canada at the U18 Sloan Kogreski Cup, where he had uh, five games played, six goals, one assist, seven points. Very good outing there. Um, obviously dominated with Canada there and ended up winning the gold medal as well. Uh, but, you know, his play style is really, really good. This is a guy who, at worst, I think is going to be like a bottom six winger with a lot of energy, potentially penalty kill kind of guy. <clears throat> really solid two-way game his puck skills are really good his hands are really good playmaking skills are good um his just puck pursuit possession just wanting that puck his drive his work ethic his energy is, is something they really take keep an eye on i mean he's an energy kind of guy that's why i kind of think at worst he'll be a bottom six middle six kind of winger he'll potentially be on your penalty kill kind of thing like that's at worst um he has some, a lot of upside though like a ton of upside offensively he needs to work on his speed and overall offensive production. But for the most part, though, like, you know, if you work on his shot and stuff too and just get a better kind of overall offensive game, I think this guy can be a very good player at the NHL level and definitely a guy who I would love to see pick the number 23. And either Casper here or Ethan are probably my two favorite guys to pick at this spot. Um, But the, these are going to be some great guys at number 23. And definitely could be, you could see, you know, a right winger guy get picked at this spot because we definitely could use that for this team right now at the right the rangers team right now but definitely obviously we're looking at for the future so we could go left wing could go center could go right wing but i definitely think either of these two guys would be fantastic picks at number 23 but anyways guys thanks for watching hope you guys have enjoyed this video if, if you guys have please smash the like button and definitely comment on your guys thoughts who is your favorite guy out of these three would you rather gavin brinley casper haltonen or ethan goche thanks for watching and see ya